and welcome back to my channel so I am back with another video for you guys and I'm finally doing a makeup tutorial I know I haven't posted a makeup tutorial in a while but this is the look I'm doing for you guys today and this is actually a highlight and contour video foundation as well because I know I've been promising you guys forever and ever that I'm gonna post a updated highlight and contour video and I received a lot of new makeup and goodies that I wanted to play with today so today I'm gonna to be using the Dermablend uh, cover cream foundation Ooh, there's something out there. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Dermablend cover cream foundation today and it's actually my first time using it. However, I am familiar with the brand Dermablend. Um, this foundation is full coverage makeup, you guys. And to be honest with you, I'm absolutely loving it, how it turned out. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look today, the foundation and highlighting contour, please continue to watch this video. You guys, I did not film a video on my eyeshadow today because I wanted to focus more on the face, on the skin, but if you guys wanna see like a full on tutorial with this eye look, I will definitely do it for you guys. So yeah, let's just jump right into the video. Let's begin. So prior to recording the video, I prepped my skin, I applied my moisturizer and my primer. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the Dermablend Professional Cover Cream Foundation. This foundation is full coverage. It has a velvety smooth finish, so it doesn't feel or look cakey at all. It's perfect for covering scars, burns, hyperpigmentation. To apply the foundation, I'm using a buffing brush to apply and I'm just buffing it into my skin for even coverage and I also apply a bit on my neck as well just to make sure everything matches perfectly. Now once my foundation is on, I'm going to move on to contour and highlight. To contour, I'm using Dermablend Quick Fix Concealer. As you can see, it's a few shades darker than my skin tone. To contour is to add definition and dimension. It also slims down my face a bit as well, so that's why I like to contour. So I apply it in the hollows of my cheek. This will give me a sculpted cheekbone look. I also apply along my forehead and my jawline, down the side of my nose, to give the illusion of a slimmer nose. Moving on to highlight, I'm using the same concealer in a lighter shade to highlight. You want to use a shade that is about two to three shades lighter than your skin tone. So I apply under my eyes, the center of my forehead, down my nose, my chin, and a little above my lips. And now that the look is completed, you just want to go ahead and surf some face. <laughs> I'm just kidding you guys, the look is not completed. I have to blend out all these crazy lines out of my face. Next, I'm going to go in with a blending sponge. This one is from Derma Blend also, and I'm going to go ahead and just blend out all the highlighted areas. Next, I'm going to go in with a contour brush, and I'm going to blend out the areas that I've contoured. Now, for this step, I find that it's a lot easier for me to use a brush, and then I'm going to go in with the blending sponge. It also helps me to just to blend out my contour a lot easier. And when it comes to highlighting and contouring, you guys, it's all about blending. So you want to really make sure you blend that really well. Now, to blend out my nose contour, I'm using a Smith contour brush. I'm not exactly sure of the number, but everything I use will be listed in the down bar, and I'm just going to reapply uh, the nose well the highlight shade down my nose because I find that when I blend it out the contour kind of blend out the highlight a bit much as well so I'm just gonna reapply that and then I'm just gonna go in with my finger just to make sure it's nicely blended <laughs> Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the highlighted area with the Derma Blend Setting Powder. So it's basically a translucent powder. And I'm also going to use a brush to apply it under the eyes. And then I'm going to go in with the little puffy, puffier thingy, whatever you call it. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm going to apply the small amount of the powder all over my face just to set my makeup. By doing this, it's going to lock my makeup into place. Moving on, I'm using Derma Blonde Bronze Camo, and it's a few shades darker than my skin tone. So I just use it to bronze on my skin, and I apply it along the forehead, on the hollows of my cheek. And this is just going to give me a more defined contour, and I also apply it down my jawline as well. So yeah, this is pretty much the end result. Foundation, highlight, and contour. Now to complete this makeup look, I'm going to apply some lipstick. Well, it's kind of like a big jumbo size lipstick lip pencil. This one is by L'Oreal. I can't seem to remember the name, so I'll just add it in the description box down below. 
and there you have it guys this is the completed look I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was really helpful to you guys and please let me know in the comment section if you want to see a tutorial on this eye makeup look as well I love you guys and I will see you in another video of very very soon bye I mean I haven't been doing my highlight and contour technique on channel so um, hello you're just gonna interrupt me while I'm talking hmm? say hi say meow say meow Betty pose for the camera pose for the camera yes I yes. love you look at this face look at this face look at this face I love this face okay that's enough I'm obviously a crazy cat lady.